Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the Pop-Up Studio. It's me, Matthew Reinhardt, pop-up book creator, children's book author, and illustrator. And I'm gonna welcome you to my channel and to my studio. Well, today, I am going to share with you something really special. It's a secret. It's been a secret for years. And I'm gonna share this secret with you because I love you and because I care so much about how much you want to learn about making cool pop-ups. And here it is. It's been in my studio. It is the greatest pop-up ever. It really is. It really, really is. I made this and, um, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to share with you what it is and how to make it. Should we look at it? Should we look at it together? Is it really the greatest pop-up ever? Oh, yes. Let's look and see more. Okay, here it is, the greatest pop-up ever. Okay, so this is something I made um, about uh, 12 years ago. Uh, and here it is, the greatest pop-up. Oh, you're silly. Oh, go on. Oh, please. So this is this movement. I loved this movement. Um, it's really, it's really funny. It's really extreme, actually. I love it because he's like, oh, pshaw. Oh, you silly. Um, so I love uh, these kind of mechanisms where it really imitates in real life how um, uh, an action would happen. This mechanism, okay, so I made this, and like I said, in my opinion, this is the greatest pop-up ever. At least that's what I thought when I made it, and um, I still kind of do think this. And this pop-up is actually um, based on a mechanism called, um, well, it's a couple of mechanisms, right? It's a, this is a layer, this part right here. That is a V-fold that's built into the layer. And then this part on here is a platform, but it's an overextended platform. So, and that's what makes the wrist kind of come down at the end and ooh. So I just love, I love that. Look at that, look at that movement. It's so nice. And even after all these years, it's still working really, really well. There's also a very wide V-fold up here, which is the wrist. So we've talked about all the different mechanisms working and we're just gonna, we're gonna look at the way this one is built and we're gonna build our own, a different one. And we're gonna build it in a lot of different colors so that you can see all the pieces working together. All right, so that is, ooh, the greatest pop-up ever. And now you will be able to learn how to make one of your own. Now you could turn this into a lot of other things. You know, this could be um, maybe, maybe a dinosaur's head coming up and peeking out. You could just use part of it to make a building that's standing up. It's, it's such a great um, mechanism. And one of the things I like is I always, I, I've been doing this a lot um, over the years. I like to overextend um, certain sort of things like platforms because you really get movement early on, on, on a platform. See, see this right here, see this? This surface here mimics this one usually in a normal um, platform, but because this one is overextended, this one opens up quicker than this one does. So you really get that motion faster, and that's what makes I think this so great. So let's get started. All right, Professor, what do we need to get started on our project? Well, um, we definitely need cardstock. So you're going to need at least one piece of full cardstock, and then you can use um, scrap for the rest. I've got a lot of scraps here. I like to reuse stuff. There's a lot of extra Valentine's Day stuff because we just did Valentine's Day projects. You're gonna need some scissors. Get some scissors you're comfortable with. You're gonna need some sort of ruler. I use these triangle rulers because um, they have a ruler here and then they have a, a right angle right here. Um, we're gonna use some glue. We'll probably use some two types of tape, double stick and um, just regular. I like to use this artist tape, but you can use um, masking tape, which is really very inexpensive and also has the fibers and it's a little bit stronger. So we can use that. Oh, we're gonna use an X-Acto knife um, as well to cut up some stuff. Oh, nice sharpened pencil. And um, make sure you got hydrate. I gotta, let me just, ah, I gotta hydrate. Okay, let's get started. All right, when we analyze this first, we have to make a base page, right? So let's, this one is pretty much just one piece of cardstock, folded in half, just like this. And you see, I just use my thumbnail. All right. So there is our base page. And I'm just going to fold it on the outside, inside out, and then fold it back just so we can see that crease. And you know what else I like to do? I'm just going to use my ruler here. It's going to mark where 
the central fold is. It just helps when we're when we're doing these videos so you can see it. You don't need to do that. So we have that. Uh, let's look at our pop-up and see what we need to make. We need to make this layer next. It's about four and a half inches by two and a half inches. So we need to make a rectangle that's that big. I'm gonna make a big pink rectangle. Let's see, ooh, and I'm just gonna mark it two and a half. And what's great about these is it's a right angle. So if I line it up properly, I don't have to worry about um, our rectangle being off like that. And one more. All righty, so there, let's cut it out. Real carefully. Like, it doesn't have to be, you know, perfect. It's, it's nice when you start out, at least with this beginning layer, you start out as precise as possible. Now, I don't usually tell my students, oh, it needs to be exactly two inches, it needs to be exactly two and a half. But we're, we're mimicking something that exists already. We're making that rectangle, so I did need to measure it. Okay, so to make a layer, what do we do? We fold it in half. You all know that. That's easy stuff, so it's folded in half. And you know what I'm gonna do is also, I'm gonna mark that edge too, or that, that fold there. All right, now this has a V-fold in the layer, and it looks like, to me, it looks like a, a 90 degree V. So I'm gonna show you how to fold that into our layer that already exists. So we have this right here. This, is, this was our two and a half by four and a half rectangle folded in half into a layer. And then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna fold a triangle into this, that's the folded in half edge. We're gonna fold it so that this corner is down here. And we're gonna make sure that when we fold it, about right there, that's pretty good. Let's make sure we have those edges all lined up. Okay, that's pretty good. We're gonna make sure that this edge here is parallel to this one. So see how this edge here is parallel there? Okay, so now we have our 90 degree, that's pretty close to a 90 degree V-fold built into this layer. And I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and tape it in. So what do we do when we line these up? Let's see, let's make sure we put it at the right level. So it's real close to the bottom edge right there. See, just like that. And then I'm going to use some, this is, uh, you can use masking tape or you can use your artist tape. And I'm going to attach this layer right here. And you see, see what I do with my fingernail? I kind of, I kind of uh, uh, make sure, I, I dig my fingernail into that, that crevice, that crease, so that it really attaches fully. Because sometimes you can just, quickly put on tape and it won't stay down. So this really helps it adhere to the page. Okay, so there we go. Now look, our layer is working. Let's look at our original. So that's there. We're not gonna build this part, so ignore that, but we're, we're building that, so that looks good. Okay, so next up, you're gonna see that this, these area here, that kind of over, it kind of overextends over the edge of this V-fold. So we need to make two, pieces of cardstock and let's just pick a different color let's use this um we'll use this this white um and we need some rectangles and let's see how wide they are i'm just all i'm going to do is just sort of mark where this one goes with a pencil just like that okay so that's about how far and we just need some strips so i'm going to just cut it and i'm not going to necessarily measure it or it's pretty close and we need two, and they need to be about, so this is a good, and we're just gonna fold this in half. Hopefully, ooh, that's pretty good. Look at, it lined up really nicely. And then I'm just gonna do this. And now we got two. So now these two pieces are gonna just, they're gonna attach right there on our V. And you know what, I'm, just so you can see the V, the edge of the V better, I'm just gonna put this pencil mark here. So I'm going to use some, you can use double stick, tape, or I'm just going to use some glue. Paint a little glue right into that area. See how I did that? And then I'm just going to place these right here. Make sure, make sure that this edge right here doesn't go over your fold. Just right before, and the same for the opposite side. So see, we're just, we're really, what we're doing when we add these pieces on, we're adding surface area to this uh, plane right here and this other plane right here. So now there's 
more of that because it moves so much. We're going to build something off of it. So that is that. Okay, so we've built the base, but now we need to build the struts. Okay, so these are the two side struts. This is the right strut and this is the left strut. So we have a left and right uh, strut and then we have our central strut. We need to build this central strut for our our overextended platform. That's what they call that. So let's just take a piece of cardstock and we're just going to kind of another another time we're going to eyeball it. We're going to kind of see how tall that is. So it's about that tall. Okay, so I've got that little mark and I'm going to make an extra long rectangle piece because we need to make that central um, strut for our platform. We need to make it extra strong. So Yada -da, yada -dee. Okay, so we we need to make it extra strong, and we're gonna so we're gonna double it over. But I wanna I wanna kind of check it, and see what I'm gonna do is see I'm sliding this in here, sliding it in, and then I'm gonna use my pencil and sort of trace the edges, just like that, so I know what the shape is gonna be. And since I have so much extra here, all I have to do is fold this over. And then I can make two to double it up. And what I think I'm going to do, this is going to make this easier. Wow. I'm just going to use some glue and I'm just going to, I'm going to double it up before I cut it. Just so I have it all set in place. So, okay, now you can see that is a, a close enough approximation of that central strut. Remember, we're just kind of winging it as far as, um, putting this thing together. So it might work slightly differently, but it'll be pretty close. So now look at that. That should go right there. All right, let's, let's do the next piece. So next up, we have to make these side, these left and right um, struts for our platform. So this side and this side, and we're going to make this bridge separately. So let's just take another piece of cardstock and let's kind of measure. Let's see if we can measure. See, it's See, look at that, it's starting to come apart, so I gotta repair it. But what we're gonna do, I'm gonna kinda just line it up right here. And again, use my pencil, just mark how tall that is. And I'm gonna use my triangle ruler here, just like that. And I need two, so there's one, there's that, and one more. There we go, there are our side struts. These are the next parts that we're gonna assemble. Let's see how this works again. Okay, so the center one is the big one. So we're gonna we're gonna tape that on to the, the center of our V-fold. And then these pieces are gonna go on the side. All right, so let's do that right now on ours. Here we go. There's where our, our center piece is. See how it's lined up with the center of our um, V-fold and our layer. Just gonna use some more either masking tape or like I use artist tape. We just need one-sided tape, actually. And I'm gonna do a little, a little bit on both sides so it's nice and strong and attached. Now watch, now it moves. See how it's going in and out, and in and out. All right, so we have that. Now let's connect the left and right. This is the right side strut. We're just gonna tape it to the bottom here, just like that. Make sure you tape it all the way across too. And let's do the same for our other side. So now, look, I've got all three of the struts attached. Now they're all floppy right now, but we can see, like if we flatten them out, we can see how we're starting to get that movement coming out, even if this one doesn't wanna. See how we're starting to get that movement just like that. I mean, it's sort of moving, right? But we need to make sure that this stands up straight, right? So let's get to the next part. All right, so let's analyze. We need to make this, this is the top of our platform, right? So this is actually the platform. So it's kind of shaped kind of like a, kind of like a bean. So I'm gonna make this as the, the, the bean, and I'm just guessing, this one is gonna be kind of some guesswork. I'm gonna to try to make this as flat as possible. Let's see. All right, and so let's cut this sort of a bean shape. Doesn't have to be. It can be rectangular if you like. We're just doing so that we can copy our 
greatest pop-up ever. All right, there we go. I think that's about right. It needs to be folded. One side is definitely bigger than the other, so I'm gonna just fold it like that. You see that? You see where that fold is? All right, let's put this away and let's start attaching. Now, the way this attaches is it attaches here on the top of our strut first, our central strut. So I'm gonna put some, some one-sided tape here. We're gonna make sure that the small side is on the right side. And I'm just gonna tape it to the top, just like this. See that? So it's taped there. And see that allows it to move up and down. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna close our pop-up, right? Now it's in place. And these side struts, the left and right ones, need to be attached to the bottom of that platform. So let's do that. Take some more one-sided tape. And see how I'm just taping it to the bottom? See, that's one side that's attached. But in, but in order for it to stand up straight, we need, we need the other side to attach as well. So I'm gonna attach that just right there. And so now, ooh, this one is really, see how extreme that is? Now, you know what I did? I think we gotta, we gotta do a little work. We, we did something wrong along the way. I think the center is probably a little too high. So let's fix it. So let's take this off very carefully. See, what's great about some of these tapes, especially this artist tape, is you can, if you're careful, you can pull it off relatively easily. And I'm gonna pull this off. All I'm gonna do is snip a little off the, the top here, just about that much. See, we're all learning, we're all making mistakes, it's okay. Be cool with it. All right, there we go. I just snipped a little off, made it a little shorter. And now, let's put it back in place and let's reattach those tape pieces. There's one. And let's test it out. Let's see if that's, ooh, that's better, that's better. It doesn't, it doesn't bow as much in the center and it still moves quite nicely. So see? Now, what I'm seeing with this though, we need something to keep it a little, see how it kind of goes and it wobbles a little? We don't want it to wobble. We need to make a bridge going across from the, from the left to the right, just like in our original one. See that piece? It's just gonna be a strip of cardstock. Let's just, just needs to be a strip like that. And we're gonna fold it in half, okay? Just like that. And it's gonna go across. And, and you know, I also, I might fold it one more time like that so that when it opens it has a little bit more see how that space so let's close it and let's see we got it up closer to the top so we're gonna just attach it right here see see where this one is attached so we're gonna attach it right there like that and then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna use my double stick you could use glue too as you wanted it. I'm too impatient right now right and now let's see well, that's better. That's better because look, see, it's it's really staying in place. So we've almost got it. We've almost got it. Now we see. Look at that. Look at that. That is doing that. Look. Now the reason why this one looks much more extreme is because we've got the wrist piece on top. So that's the next step. That's our next step. We got to build this wrist, wrist piece. So let's do that next. Okay, so this wrist piece, or this, well, the, the hand piece, if we look at it from this way, it's basically a folded, this looks almost 90 degrees right here. So we're just gonna take a piece of cardstock, right, like this. We're gonna make a, we're gonna cut like a, just a big piece. I'm just going to fold it kind of in half, kind of like that, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shove this underneath in here, just see how I did that? So I shoved it underneath the original one. Pretty close. Alrighty. I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna trace this side. So there is our thumb. I'm gonna turn it over. Ooh, look at that, it's perfect. And let's do the hand. So we're just actually just holding it and tracing it. All right, so here we have this shape. There's our hand shape. Can you see it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a little darker so you can see. All right, let's cut it out. When you're cutting, make sure that you cut oh, as best as you can to be away from your other fingers. 
and then just like that. You know, I'm not cutting like, ooh, ooh, ooh. no, no, don't ever do that. Always cut away. Okay, we're almost done. We got a hand. Give me a hand. Oh, I think I will. There's your hand. Now we got to see how this is attached. This hand is sort of attached right there. And we're going to try to do a similar, I'm just going to line it up next to it. And we're going to eye it. So it should be sort of right there, lined up there. And that's where it's going to sort of attach. So I'm just, see, I'm just pinching it right now. And now I'm going to tape it. See, I have that line. I sort of know where it's supposed to be. And now I'm going to use, again, I'm going to use one sided tape and I'm going to tape it down and kind of press it in there with my fingers. And see, there's extra tape hanging over the edges. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm just going to cut it. All right, there's one side. Let's do the other side. Now watch, you can see that there's no space. Like it's not like that. It's, it's really flattened up. That fold is, is, is lined and, and that edge right there is right tight to the um, fold underneath it. All right, so I'm gonna tape this down. And again, use my like fingernail to kind of really press that tape in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's close it and let's make sure everything works right. Let's see if it'll work. I'm going shut. Oh, I'm gonna be excited to see if it makes it. Oh, is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? It, oh, yes, it will. Look at that. That is the greatest pop up ever. And we just made it. Look at that. Do you think I could make that pop up? Do you think I could make the greatest pop up ever? Of course you could. Don't be silly. You're so crazy. So, this is the greatest pop up ever. We have made our own copy. If yours pushes in like this and it doesn't close right, here's what you do. Oh, I pushed it in and then it will work right. You know, so sometimes that happens. Um, I would suggest maybe even doubling up um, both sides here just to give your, your pop-up card a little strength. So again, you may not think that this is the greatest pop-up ever, but I do. And I am happy to share my secrets with you so that you can make your own. Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be this pop-up. It doesn't have to be a hand coming out going, ooh. You know, this could be all kinds of different things, but I thought you'd really have fun making this mechanism. It's pretty simple. It's a, and it's called an overextending, um, an overextended uh, platform, but it's built into some other things. And I love pop-ups that mimic real movement. So I think that that's why I love this one so much. And I love that wrist really comes down at the end. Maybe I'm just exaggerating it, but I love the way that comes down. It has so much, it has a lot of personality. I just love that paper can turn into this moving sculpture that mimics life. I don't know. It certainly does. Okay, class, that's it. You did it. Here in the master class, um, we made the greatest pop-up. Well, what I think is the greatest pop-up ever. And here it is, the original. And then here's the one we just made. Look at that. Ooh, I love it. Anyways, everyone, I want to thank you for watching and joining me today. Um, if you like this video, please be sure to hit the like or feel free to comment and hit the subscribe button. If you've got an idea for future crafts, please let me know in the comments below because I read them and I'm happy to do whatever you guys want. Um, I'm here for you. Um, this channel and everything I do here is thanks to you. And um, I love you all and I hope that you're having fun with me creating this stuff. This is Professor Matthew Reinhardt, I love to say professor, saying stay crafty, you, you stay crafty and keep it popping. Oh, yes. Do you think we should keep it popping? Indeed. Yes. Bye, everybody.